Reactive arthritis is defined as an inflammatory joint disease that arises following an infection, even though pathogens can't be cultured from the affected joints. Historically, it was associated with the triad of conjunctivitis, urethritis, and arthritis. Together, this triad of symptoms was previously described as Reiter's syndrome. However, I think it's important to acknowledge that we've moved away from this eponymous term. A still somewhat helpful phrase, can't see, can't pee, can't climb a tree, can help you remember this triad, but just keep in mind that it only occurs in a small proportion of patients with reactive arthritis anyway. Its pathogenesis involves a genetically susceptible patient acquiring an infection and subsequently inducing an inflammatory syndrome. This infection is usually from a commonly associated bacteria like Chlamydia, Salmonella, Shigella, or Campylobacter. These all share some characteristics like the capacity to target mucosal surfaces and survive intracellularly. The pathogenic mechanisms for the resulting arthralgia is unclear. However, it's evident that some bacterial antigens find their way into a joint synovium and then persist for long periods after an acute attack. The type of inflammation particularly associated with this disease are high levels of cytokines like IL-17. Like other spondyloarthropathies, which I like to call the pear diseases, there's one genetic risk factor, HLA-B27, which is associated with more severe and chronic disease. The clinical features of reactive arthritis should be classified into those associated with the preceding infection, articular and extra-articular features. The preceding infection is usually from an enteric or genitourinary source. This often means patients have a recent history of diarrhea or urethritis. The onset of the joint pain is typically one to four weeks after infection. And to describe this arthritis, I remember the deal back acronym. Patients may develop dactylitis or sausage fingers, enthesitis, or inflammation around the site of insertion of ligaments and tendons. The peripheral arthritis is typically asymmetrical, mostly involving the lower limbs. And finally, inflammatory lower back pain is frequent too. Extra articular features include ocular signs like conjunctivitis and dermatological ones like keratoderma blenorragica. These are hyperkeratotic skin lesions on soles and palms resembling pustular arthritis. When investigating reactive arthritis, you need to remember that the diagnosis is a clinical one with no definitively diagnostic laboratory test or radiologic finding. With that being said, you can still consider testing for evidence of a recent infection. For example, urine or stool cultures or PCR might yield evidence of Yersinia or chlamydia-induced disease. Serologic evidence of exposure to a causative organism is usually nonspecific and probably of questionable utility. You can then characterize the extent and impact of the inflammatory process at hand. So the ESR and CRP are usually markedly elevated. Testing for HLA-B27 positivity only has a role in prognostication because it has a low negative predictive value. Performing arthrocentesis is usually necessary to exclude differentials like septic or crystal-induced arthritis. In the early disease process, radiographic changes may be absent, but long-term, marginal erosions and loss of joint space can be seen in affected joints, much like psoriatic arthritis. Moving on to management, treating the precipitating infection may be warranted if it's not already resolved. However, there is little evidence that this improves remission rates for the actual reactive arthritis. Management of the acute arthropathy depends on severity. Mild disease may only require NSAIDs like aspirin. But severe disease might require corticosteroids like prednisone and intra-articular corticosteroid injections. 
Chronic arthritis, i.e. arthritis that occurs for more than six months, may require immunomodulation with DMARDs like sulfasalazine or biologics. Let's summarize with a mnemonic. The classic triad of symptoms, conjunctivitis, urethritis, and arthritis can be remembered with the rhyme, can't see, can't pee, can't climb a tree. And the arthritis can be remembered with the phrase, deal back. Thanks for watching Townsend Teaching.